Today I'm gonna to install the bed step on my 2022 Toyota Tundra. There's a couple videos and they all seem kind of long and drawn out, so I'm gonna to try to make a quick one here. It's really a lot easier than everyone makes it seem. Um, one thing that's gonna help you out, very first off, is removing this uh, bumper support here. So it's held in by a 10 mil nut up there at the top, that's what it looks like, and it goes right through that hole. The best thing to do is get a ratcheting wrench and get to it from the top. You can also use a uh, shallow socket quarter inch ratchet, but uh, that's the easiest thing, just take that little nut off that's right there, and then you have a push pin down here at the bottom, which looks just like this. So you can either get a small flathead screwdriver or a pick underneath um, the head of the push pin here, or actually once it's pushed through like this, you can just push on that center pin and the middle part will pop right out. So that is that. The next step, we're gonna install the bracket. It's gonna go just like this with the only stud that comes installed facing down. So there's that right there. And it's actually gonna come through this hole in the hitch. So I'm just gonna orient it like this, stick it inside there, and that nut is gonna pop through right there. Uh, okay, so there's three pieces of fine thread hardware and they're all purple. That's what we're gonna use next. That one purple nut uh, and those two bolts are gonna go in. Purple nut's gonna go down there at the bottom and then one bolt's gonna go there and the other one's gonna go in that hole to right there. Now those are both threaded on the back side already, which is awesome. This is what the bracket looks like installed. I just have the hardware loose right now and all of these are gonna be a 14. The tool you're gonna to need for this is um, a deep socket 14, a three inch extension, and a 3 8 ratchet. That's gonna work the best. These two bottom ones are obviously easy, but that top one up there, you can barely see the edge of it, is what you want this extension and deep socket for. That way you can tighten it from this position if you're underneath the vehicle, or you can also have the wrench up in this area. And there's plenty of room to get um, a big sweep. So we'll just tighten these down and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, next up is the bracket or the um, whole assembly here that actually moves. This is gonna be easy as well. As you can see there's two holes right there and they line up to those two holes right there. Um, you can't really get the spacing wrong. You're just gonna set it up in here and you have that little corner there that's gonna locate it. Um, then you're gonna drop in your two provided bolts from the top, they look just like this, and they're gonna be 15 mil. Okay, next we'll set up our actual step. It's gonna come with a couple little inserts here, and you're gonna install them with the little raised boss facing up. Okay, just like that. We're gonna do one, two, skip one, and stick our third one in there. So you can see the raised boss on those little pieces corresponds to that raised section right there. Um, then we've got our three pieces of hardware. We're going to use a 3 16 Allen to install these. And as you can see, they've got a little bit of Loctite on them, which is great. To make this a little easier, just to get to things, you can pull this down if you want to. If you're on the ground working in the garage, you may want it in the up position. For the sake of the video, um, obviously I've got it up on the lift. Uh, next up, we'll just get the step here. And it's going to set down just like this. So you can see there's little pieces that stick out there on the bottom and they correspond to those slots right there. So you can stick down in that down inside there. You'll have to give it a little bit of force. Um, I'll have to use two hands probably off camera. Um, and then we're going to stick our Allen nuts right through or bolt right through there. We have one, two, and three. Uh, stick around to the end and I'll give you all the torque specs for all the hardware for this assembly. Okay, I've got two of the bolts in. I'm going to do this third one on camera just so you can see it. Stick that guy up inside there. And uh, you may not be able to push this down all the way onto here by hand, but you can get it down the rest of the way with this hardware for sure. So this will sp spin pretty easily for a little bit while it's going through the plastic and things. And then once it's in that uh, piece of hardware, you'll actually see it start to pull the step down. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it's gonna pull the step down all the way. Maybe you can see in this little crack. I don't have my tripod. Yeah, but there you go. You can kind of see it pulled it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up the rest of the way. Okay, last step. Don't forget to put your bumper support bracket back in place. I just have mine kind of sitting there. 
that's what it's going to look like it's going to go underneath this bracket because that 10 mil uh, bolt needs to thread into it uh, let me go ahead and show you how this push pin goes in case uh, you're unaware you want to have this middle section pulled out and then you're going to put it up from the bottom it needs to go through the bumper plastic and through the uh, hole in the bumper bracket which uh, looks like that. So you can kind of see that hole there. But anyway, once you get it pushed through both of those, which I'm gonna need two hands for, uh, you just push that center pin in and it'll keep it retained. Wanted to show you, um, since I didn't show how to pull it off, how to tighten that nut on top. So you can see it really comes in extremely handy to have a 10 mil ratcheting wrench. You can get it done without one, but it is a little bit tight up in that area. So I'm gonna finish tightening this up. Okay, so that is pretty much it for our short uh, install video on this bed step. So your list of tools that you're gonna need is a uh, 3 8 ratcheting wrench, 14 mil deep socket, three inch extension, 15 mil short or deep socket, um, and a 316 Allen wrench. And really that's all there is to it. If you wanna follow torque specs, I'll give you those. The torque specs for the bracket into the frame is 29 foot pounds plus or minus three. And the torque specs for the arm assembly onto the frame bracket is 33 foot pounds, uh, plus or minus three. Um, the torque specs for the Allen screws in the step are it's pretty low, uh, looking at six foot pounds, plus or minus one. Um, these have Loctite on them, really not too worried about it. But if you wanna go by the book and do the torque specs, then there you go, that's pretty much it. So now if you're old, um, or like me, and uh, broke your back, or if you're really short maybe, or if you just like steps, now you can hop up in your tundra a whole lot easier. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bonus material, here's me with no beard. It's not gonna happen again.